Hey guys, welcome back to Do It Live. I have a new video for you guys today. Sorry about the mess. I'm trying to find a stable setup that I can do unboxing and stuff for for the videos to come. But for now, we'll have a bit of a mess. But let's get to the unboxing of a couple things from Dell. So one of them is going to go in the Ryzen build uh, that I've been excited for for a while, but still no motherboards are available. Turns out that global shipments of motherboards have been pretty low. US is hit by it as well, but not as badly as everywhere else in the world. Uh, so Japan is having some trouble, uh, Canada is having some trouble, and I believe even UK is having trouble too. So Europe is hit by it as well. But enough of that for today, we're going to unbox this thing but it doesn't matter too much the focus of the video is the Alienware graphics amplifier so as you guys know I purchased a couple Alienware laptops in the past I reviewed a couple of them which you can see in the eye up above the Alienware 15 R3 and the Alienware 13 R2 both of which and most of Alienware's product lineup have the graphics amplifier similar to the Razer Core that you guys might have seen reviewed recently. But this was the somewhat OG of the um, external GPUs. What happens is there is a dedicated uh, port for Alienware desktops and laptops and devices that allow you to plug in an external graphics card and amplify your existing um, hardware with new graphics cards, which is really great because Sometimes you don't want to get the most powerful graphics card because it's way too expensive or maybe you don't want to uh, give up your laptop and buy a whole new one. The only thing lacking is a graphics card. Well, here comes the Alienware amplifier and let's break it open and see just how it is. Recently, but let's open this up and let's see what we got. As you guys can tell, I really do need a good space for unboxing stuff. As this <coughs> lap thing isn't really working for me. I am also a little bit sick, I know, bummer, but the videos must go on. And plus, come on, you gotta do something while you're sick, right? Alright, so, look what's inside packing material. Yay, well, what's what? what? Oh, ow. Yes, yeah, see? I need better unboxing space. Uh. Alright, so package within package, I guess. Okay, packing slip. Great. And now I have another package to open. Box another in the box. Watch, there's gonna be another box inside this box. Dell. Using up too much cardboard. Think about the environment. Yeah. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Open. Okay. All right. So another box to open up. Oops. Dell, why must you be so insistent on your packaging? It doesn't even add any like protection to the device. It's just like unnecessary. It's so form fitting. So useless. Uh -huh. There we go. There's an Alienware logo. There's nothing. Doesn't tell you what it is. Undisclosed Alienware box. Bam. So, box within a box within a box. There you go, round three. I'm gonna be a little bit more careful with this one. Let me in. Oh, oh. <laughs> I know. I need to buy better lighting for the lab. So that I can do unboxing there, it's a little bit better, it's a full table. Oh yeah, I think that's pretty clean. Alright. Here, 
I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to be at a bit of a weird angle. But here we go. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right, what's in the box? This is the amplifier cord right there. I don't know how long this is. Cool, hopefully like two meters or something. Here is a power cord. Your uh, staple PC power cord. That's perfect. And now for the pièce de résistance. I'm gonna drop this, aren't I? Ow! Don't drop it. All right. Ooh. I have the boxes. Oh, there's something else in here. Uh, instruction manuals, warranty. Yep. All right. So I got this from Dell. And uh, there was a promotion going on, it was $60 off. Ah. <coughs> Sorry. I also, for some reason, got a $100 uh, coupon from Dell. For some reason, they thought I wanted to cancel my Alienware 15 order. I was just asking a couple questions, and they're like, if you don't, if you don't cancel your order, it will give you 100 bucks." All right, sweet. So I got 100 bucks off this. Ooh, I cut myself. It's always fun. Ooh. So I got a hundred bucks off this plus the sixty dollars off originally. So it came out to about I don't know um a hundred and twenty bucks. Way cheaper than the Razor Core, and that's Canadian. Remember all my stuff isn't Canadian, so I think like a hundred dollars US. But it's not that bad, it's not that big. It's about the size of my chest. Boom, I'll cut two nice shots of it in a second. This is the front. Alienware logo, I'm pretty sure that lights up. Side is the same, and we'll go to rear I.O. Here we go. So it's like a built-in USB hub. Uh, it has, I think, a 450 or 550 watt power supply to power your graphics card. This is the slots, the dual slot for your graphics card. And yeah, that's it. I think this has some nice LED lighting. I don't know how loud it is. I don't know if it has any built-in fans but we'll break it open in the lab and you guys can check it out with me I'm really excited about this because uh, this is one of the main reasons why I got the Alienware 15 so to get started let's pop open the Alienware amplifier so I'll make sure I get a good angle for you guys there you go so on the back there's a little latch that you can use so you just push it all the way and you'll hear a bit hear a little bit of a click I do apologize I'm gonna slur here and there I'm a bit sick but ooh, I don't know if that's a good sound but there you go it opens up as you can see there is a 450 watt power supply here this is the riser or the PCB that's powering it all it comes with two uh, a plus a six plus two 8-pin uh, graphics card plugs and they actually have a little place that you can put it into it's really nice it's really nice and organized this is just your average uh, PSU and plugs in 24 pin here there is a fan at the front here that I don't know if you guys can see right here it's not that powerful I think it's a 90 millimeter could be wrong but there you go, you pretty much slot your card in here and then you're good to go. You have to plug it into the laptop uh, using this plug here, which will open up in a sec and plug that into the wall using this and we have no problem doing that. But first, let's start. Let's get out our GTX 1060 and let's pop it in there. It's a great small little card, the GTX 1060. This one is a super clock EVGA, but it's a one. What's that? It's a one fan model. Not too bad. Six gigabytes good to go. Put that down. It looks to be a similar height to the R9 Nano. I'm excited to pop that in replacement of my R9 Nano in my console killer, and I'll be using the R9 Nano in the upcoming Ryzen build. But let's focus on this. All you have to do is take out 
a couple screws. No big deal. Take out the um, the covers. This comes up pretty quickly. Boom. Boom. back. Alright. I'm actually a little worried about this cart. I dropped it, but uh, there are no rattling parts or anything, so it sounds to be, seems to be okay, but this is where we'll find out for sure. I know. Be really careful with your graphics cards, guys. Don't be like me. There you go. There's a click. This right back down. There you go. It's almost toolless access, but screwdriver was necessary. Okay, I'm gonna plug this in. Make sure that the drivers are installed on my laptop, and then we'll be in business. So you guys saw those benchmarks and you saw a little bit of what a graphics amplifier or an external graphics card can do for you and your laptop. So with the Alienware 13 R2, I originally wanted to do the 15 R3, but um, for some reason it crashed and now I can't use my Alienware 15 and I gotta fix that. So you do have to do some driver updates and you do have to be a bit careful. Um, but it should work out of the box. It worked just fine with the 13R2. Not sure what the problem is with the 15R3. I'll have to talk to Dell, try to see what is up with that, and I'll fix that. But with the 13R2, that has a 960M, and you can see all the specs in my review up there. Um, it has a 960M, which is okay for a 720p screen, but after putting a GTX 1060 desktop card, into the amplifier and plugging into the laptop I was able to reach much higher frame rates at a greater level of detail even when feeding it back into the laptop screen and then when putting it to a 1080p screen I was still getting great frame rates on games I wasn't even expecting on playing as you guys saw uh, GTA 5 was playing great uh, getting 60 FPS on um, the highest presets Surprisingly, even though the uh, Alienware 13 R2 has a i5-6200U, so an ultrabook processor, so it's still able to game on that and you can extend the life of your laptop even further. So when you're looking into getting an Alienware, or for any laptop for that matter, try to keep that in mind that you can expand the graphics card later and you don't need the best of the best right now. Uh, for example, I have a 1060 in my laptop, but if I wanted a 1070, it would be 500 extra dollars for a 1070, and I would only get about 30% increase of performance, which is huge, but not worth 500 bucks. Think about it down the line in which you can spend 500 bucks on maybe an 1170, 1270, or even getting a 1080 Ti or the next 80 Ti. Down the, down the road and using that 500 bucks that you saved on your laptop and doing that because the 1060 is strong playing all the AAA titles at the highest presets at 1080p no problem 60 FPS and then you know you dial it down if you want your extra 120 hertz uh, frame rate so again the way I looked at it when I bought my laptop is I'm paying 500 bucks which is the cost of a 1070 and putting it into my laptop that's great and I'm losing the 1060 but I'm not getting the value of the 1060 out. You see what I mean? If you were to get a desktop and get a new 1070, which is 500 bucks, 
and put it into your desktop, you'd be left with a 1060 that you can sell and therefore save you some value, maybe 250, 300 bucks, something like that. So the difference in price should only be 200 bucks, but you're paying 500 bucks and not even keeping the 1060 to do whatever you want with, put in another build, sell it. So at least if you get a 1070 down the line or the next generation 1070, you're getting a physical 1070 that you can put into the laptop and do whatever you want with. Try to keep that in mind when you are looking to get something like the Alien Amplifier or even a uh, Razer Core external graphics card. You, there's a lot coming out now, a lot of people coming out with external graphics cards with the Thunderbolt 3 adapter, uh, sorry, 3 port being a norm now, so definitely look into that. But again, the Alien Amplifier was only $200 Canadian, much cheaper for Americans and really an okay investment if you have an Alienware laptop or if you're looking for a laptop keep the amplifier in mind when using the Alienware. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it educated you a little bit and it was a little bit of fun for me to try out this idea the graphics amplifier and see really how much more horsepower you can plug into an old laptop that wasn't that strong to begin with and still be able to play your AAA titles. It was really surprising really fun and I look forward to doing more stuff like this. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. I'll be having more videos, more and more and more and more videos coming up in the future and um, I'm really excited the one coming up soon, which I'm going to be working on today, Nintendo Switch teaser. Okay, forget about that. It's coming soon. So I have a lot of videos on the uh, horizon for you guys, so don't forget to do it live.